All right. Hello. Today is May 20th, and I have with me, um, hold on, let me introduce the guests. Today we have Saturday webinar. Hello, Carolina. Hello, Ellie. Hello, Jay. Hey, Jess. Jonathan. Um, Kim, Lila, Marlene, and Wendy. And we have, um, we are broadcasted live. We have a few viewers watching us live. So to join, go on hucola.org uh, and you will see the announcement right there hucola.org h-u-c-o-l-o.org and this is a free webinar everyone is welcome to join and i have with me jonathan c martin and before you say anything i will want i wanted to show your website so jonathan c martin and also you can find his his channel on youtube so welcome jonathan Hi, thanks for having me on. Thank you for joining us. Uh, joining us at this first time we have you. Um, and uh, just, I, I, we want you to channel, but as an introductory question is, how long have you been channeling? Um, so regularly, well, professionally, um, well, I do sessions one-to-one -one over Skype about only about seven months maybe less, uh, regularly for about two years. But I think I first, I had an awakening experience in 2009 uh -huh. and with some contact, contact and it, that was when it first opened up for me. All right. I, I also had um, an awakening experience in 2009. I didn't have oh, any, wow. any contact, um, any speaking contact or visual contact so far. I'm okay. I saw blinking stars, but that was the best I got. Yeah. But but uh, <laughs> I had a lot of channeling experience, and uh, right now I, I'm getting the uh, psychic experience, and some noise coming is from. Oh gosh, everybody is good. Hoi, 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 what what is the noise from? We have lots of uh, static coming from. Do you know what the reason? I guess this is the aliens because everybody is good in my uh, in my screen. Everybody is muted. Let me mute you for a second. I will see what happened. Gosh, it's static. Okay. And uh, I and as usual, I cannot unmute you, so you have to unmute yourself. Can you click the button unmute? And the static was coming from you, so there is some presence in your room. It just came when we started. Right, yeah, okay, guess, so you, so you yeah, think the static's now. due to me? Say again? You think the static's due to me? Yeah, oh, it was, over. it was an entity there. It is a characteristic uh, white noise from an entity. So there was an extraterrestrial spiritual presence, but now it's gone, or it's, it's, it quieted the noise, so it's good. Okay. Yeah, it was clearly in your room. I muted you. It disappeared, then when you, uh, you unmuted yourself, there was still a little bit of noise, and then they turned it off. It was a presence. Okay, cool. All right. Um, and uh, the last questions before we start is, uh, are you taking private clients? Yes, yeah. Uh, so what's the way for them to contact you? Um, through my website. If you check out my website, it's all on the website. Yeah, uh -huh. I think you showed the link already, didn't you? Yeah, and what's the price? What's the price? Um, 55 um, British pounds, 55 GBP for a one-hour session. Uh-huh, and, uh, and uh, are you doing Skype, or what is your platform? Yeah, yeah, it's all over Skype at the minute. You know what? Okay. I, I don't think they saw my picture. Now they see it. No. Yeah, I see it. Now they see it. Okay, so that's the picture. All right, that's the side. Yeah, it's the entity. Uh, hey, the entity in uh, Martin's room, or oh, Jonathan's room, please quiet your sound. It's too much <laughs> white noise. It's clearly somebody is entering there. Uh, just disconnect from the electronics. We love you, but please make this noise quieter. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you. That's good. That was just uh, electric, electric static. There is some some presence there. Super. Yeah, it, okay. So we're ready to start.
Okay, so you want me to go into the channeling state now, yeah? Yeah, uh, I guess, I, I, you know, do you give us choices who to invite? Okay, so, so yeah, I mean, you're asking who, who shall I channel, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, normally I channel the Yael, and the Yael are my main, my main um, counterpart, my main entity that I channel. So if I go into the Yael first, mm -hmm. and if anyone wants to speak to other civilizations like Syrians, Pleiadians, Sasani, if they communicate that to the Yael, and I'll see if we can sort of shift from the Yael to them or bring it through the Yael or something like that. How does that sound? Absolutely great. We love Yael. I, Yael are my favorites. So oh, that's awesome. how I found you. I searched for channeling Yael and then you popped up. Oh, wow. And it was, it was authentic Yael there. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to share the YouTube link to my Facebook page. So can you just give oh, me one ahead. minute? All right, I will do a chant. Oh, I, okay, I will do a chant and people start th think what you can want to say before before we do that. Okay, I invite a few sharings bef meanwhile. Om So if anyone wants to share anyone wants to share anything we have like a few seconds How is everybody Hello Elena speaking I hey, would, Elena. I would just share that it's very nice that uh, Jonathan is from uh, the UK, as I'm in Bulgaria at the moment. And um, there are a few people from Hukulu that are in Europe. And it's good to, um, to meet more people that are in our area. So uh, cheers to that. And um, we should yes. share the link. Yeah. Uh, what would be the best timing for, uh, for Europe? I need to look at Karen. Uh, I guess you can just no. say. Actually, eleven, um, 11 in New York. Uh, then Europe would be minus six plus, hours difference. Plus six, plus six, plus six, six so it would be five p.m. Basically. Somewhere, somewhere is six hours. Somewhere is seven. Where I am is seven hours. But um, uh, yeah. this uh, this uh, Saturday session is very good as it's a suitable time in the afternoon. If people mm -hmm. can take the time, of course. And um, this so is timing is fine for you. Okay. Yes, a good synchronization at the moment. Hey, Jonathan, good timing. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so. I think. It can you say something just for test to test the sound? Test one two one two. Good. There was echo from somebody, but they muted, so it's good now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So I'll just take a, a few minutes just to do some breathing, just to enter the channeling state. I um I learn I learn everything I know from Bashar, so I look a bit similar to Bashar when I'm doing this. All right. So. <laughs> So if you just give me a couple of minutes, do some deep breathing and enter the channeling state, and then the Yael will come through and announce themselves. And would you like to get them to give an introduction first or go yes. straight into questions? Yes. Introduction first okay. is great. Like 10, 15 minutes introduction is great. Or whatever, whatever time they, they want to take for introduction.
Hello, 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 Earth humans. Hello, Hakalo. Hello, Earth colony. Hello, Earth civilization. Hello, hello, planet Earth. Hello, good day. We are communicating to you through the channel in this forum at our will, at our wish, at your will, at your wish, as we co create, as we merge frequencies, as we merge timelines, as we merge space time continuum. We come together in the here and the now, in this space time continuum you call planet Earth. We call infinite awareness focalized in a specific quantum realization, a specific field of consciousness, a specific field of awareness. We are you, you are us. We will say hello to you now, Earth humans. How may we be of service to you? Is there anything specific you wish to know about our civilization before we proceed with the question and answer modality? Um, what's, the, what's your highest excitement? Our highest excitement is this, of course, we live moment to moment, for there is only one moment, there is only the here and now, this is all that is, this is the only relevant moment in creation to us, past or future do not exist for us, so our excitement right here, right now, is to be speaking to you, Hakolo, to be speaking to you, Earth humans, good day, this is our excitement, Shivai, we're coming through, better watch out. Wonderful, thank you. How many of you are there? How many are of us? <sighs> About 30,000 relevant to this call in this timeline, in this frequency. There are many more of us, but there are 30,000 about of us tuned in to this call. So we would associate ourselves with 30,000, that this would be our collective consciousness in this moment, in this space time continuum. I invite questions from the audience. Uh, and meanwhile, I will ask my next question. So what's your involvement with the Earth Project? The Earth Project, ours, 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 as you may well already know, is first contact. We will be the first hybrid civilization to make contact with your human civilization in the space-time continuum you call planet Earth. We are here to resonate on a particular frequency to act as a step-up device, to act as a accelerator and amplifier to amplify your energy to amplify your frequency for well, there are in a way two ideas this is raising our frequency and there is the amplification of frequency and we, while you may be raising your frequency to very high frequencies of bliss, we can amplify your frequency, we can intensify the frequency, we can intensify the frequency to a frequency more intensely aware, like our civilization's frequency, like the Sasarani civilization's frequency. You may pick up on the intensity of this transmission, you may pick up on the intensity of the vibration, you may be a pick up on the intensity of the intent of this call and part of the intent of this call from our perspective and also from your perspective because we all agreed this co-collectively prior to speaking linearly speaking before this call we all met up in dream space we more we all met up in the blueprint reality we all met up in a reality higher prior different different frequency to this resonance and we agreed we co-agreed on a certain theme a certain specific theme that will be explored in this co-creation and this co-creation is the idea that we would like to share with you that we believe you code agreed on but you still have the option to change the agreements we re we respect your free will as human beings we respect your free will as individuated aspects of consciousness to choose everything you with, even separate from your higher selves. It is your choice to align with your higher selves. We do not wish to tell you what your higher selves is giving you, but this may cause confusion in your mind, but tap into your own highest excitement, your own belief. And we would suggest that our highest excitement and our belief is aligned with raising the amplification of this call, raising the frequency through amplification, intensification. We wish to bring to an intense energy, an amplified energy a high vibrational field of consciousness to amplify what already exists in many of your humans, to give you a, a boost, a boost that can help raise your frequency, that can help 
change your frequency more like our frequency, more like the frequency of the Sasani, the Ayel, the Sirius beings, the Pleiadians. Many consciousnesses are all relevant to many of you in this call at this time, for you all have many counterparts looking into the call at this time, many counterparts participating in this collective consciousness, the extended collective family of the IL, the extended collective family of planet Earth. We are all listening in. There are many beings listening in on this transmission. There are many beings listening in on this call. Some of them very closely connected to many of you following directly in the group call. For many of you listening in, slightly less directly through the YouTube call, and many of you listening in even more or less directly in the future timeline when you come back to this call, watched on YouTube, which is really now, there is really no separation, it is all connected, so we are speaking to people in your future at the same time that will be tapping into this consciousness down your future timeline that will maybe be watching it over the next few days, weeks and months. We are speaking to them directly now because we understand there is no time. It is all one, but from your planet, you can experience it linearly and it will seem like in the future. But we're speaking to all of you and you all have counterpart beings. You all have beings very closely aligned with your soul. You all have beings very closely aligned with your core purpose, with your calling, with your reason to be here. The beings that are aligned to you are very much in alignment with what your core purpose is, what your true nature is. For instance, the Syrian beings are very much a scientific, a very much a analytical mind, a very much a doing mind. We could, you could call them the masculine energy. And for those of you that follow this path, that are drawn to the doing, to the being, to the creating, you'll be very drawn to the serious energies. You may have serious counterparts. You may experience connection to the dolphin kingdom, to be out swimming in the seas, in the oceans. And there are so many of you who are more tapped into what you may call the feminine energy, the being, the receptive energy, the intuitive energy, the love, the compassion, the heartfelt receptiveness, the beingness, the lovingness, the mother, mother Mary energy, the Mary Magdalene energy, the vibration of love, compassion, healing, receptive energy. And these are much more in alignment with the Pleiadian energy, the Pleiadian energy of love. We love you as humans, the Pleiadians love you. So there are many beings from many civilizations who wish to speak to many of you through the channel, through this moment, through this here and now. On many frequencies for the transmission is coming into your reality on many levels. There is much more in this transmission than just the words, that just the words we are transmitting on many levels to many of you, many of your beings, many levels of your consciousness. We are transmitting to you, the individuated consciousness, the individual human. We are speaking to you, the collective humanity, the collective consciousness of planet earth that has its own being its own consciousness within you that you are all tapped into much more clearly than you ever realize you are all channeling your collective consciousness moment to moment whether you realize it or not there's really just a degree of awareness a degree of clarity your ability to channel the collective consciousness of planet earth that allows it to come through more clearly in your reality perhaps in this form the channeling is doing in vocal channeling you could all collect the channel the collective consciousness of your earth so this is the idea. There are many beings all spoken in, all tapped in, all connected in with this call, speaking to you as individuated consciousnesses, speaking to you subconsciously, speaking to you hyperconsciously, speaking to your collective mind, speaking to all levels of creation. We are all one being. We are all one universe. We are all one here and now. We are all connected. We are all love. We are all you. We are all you. We are all you. Remember this. We are just aspects of yourself. There is only us in creation. There is only you in creation. There is only creation. There is only one being we are all within you we are all within your consciousness we say hello from you to you we are reminding you that you are the infinite consciousness we are reminding you that you are the infinite being you we are reminding you that you are the infinite here and now resonating on a particular frequency but all exists within you as in a hologram all parts of the hologram exist within every part of the hologram all parts of creation exists within you we are you hello Remembering, are you waking up? Are you waking up yet, Earth humans? Are you waking up yet? We are you. Hello. We are knocking on your window. We are knocking on your door. We are saying, look, we are not outside of you. We are within you. Have you ever experienced anything outside of your consciousness? Have you ever experienced anything outside of your consciousness? No, because there only is your consciousness. There are only is you. There only is here and now. There only is the one being. There only is us, 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 the higher us. Us with a capital U, a capital U, it's all you, it's all you. With this idea, with this understanding, we will proceed to ask 
Are there any beings in your community that have specific questions for us, for the Yael, for any other civilizations that are looking in on this transmission, on this call, in this here and now moment, in our collective mindset? We would like to pass over the mantle, pass over the plate to you to share your input into this collective consciousness, into this collective moment, this collective here and now. So how may we be of service to you, Earth humans, today? So there is uh, Michelle, Sher, Lila, and Max who want to ask questions. Michelle, are you there or here to speak? I am. All right, go ahead. Hello, Michelle. Hi, much love to you. Thank you for being here. Uh, hi, we love you. We love your frequency. We feel the love and joy in your heart. We are very welcome to be with you right now. Thank you, Michelle. Please proceed. Thank you. Well, since as I perceive uh, yeah, EL, you are our future being, so maybe you have some intel that would be helpful for me in my now um, with regard to psychological healing. I'm working with a friend who has a lot of trauma and um, has maybe some fractured pieces that come out, have been like yesterday, I don't know if you can tap into the energy of yesterday, it was really a violent, terrifying kind of situation. Um, <clears throat> but Sorry, can you repeat, were you saying this is you or this is a friend? This is the friend. He was seemingly overtaken by um, a part of a piece of himself that is a protector. And he, in, like in human, in, if, if I look at it in human terms, he definitely needs lots of therapy <laughs> to handle the feelings, the overwhelming feelings of the many traumas he's endured in this lifetime. However, I don't know that I can get like, or he can experience that, the kinds of therapies he needed. So I wonder from a future perspective, a more advanced civilization, as it were, the Yael, if there is something you can share with me that could be helpful. Like, for instance, we have a technology called EMDR, and that would be helpful, but I don't know that we can procure that because of our money system and... E E M D R, please explain. We do e not know E M D R. E M D R. It has to do with your eyes and using a stick, like some sort of pointer. So you move the eyes. It's I don't really I don't know what it stands for actually. It's where you move your eyes to certain places to help relieve the overwhelm of trauma. Is, is this the way you are inspired? Do, do you feel, first of all, we, we struggle to deal with people who are not here for, to, to access, to enable healing, to enable information that may enable healing with the entity you are talking of, with mm -hmm. the friends you are talking of. We really need to speak to the friends because yeah. when we are not in his energy field, when he does not exist really in our reality, we, we, we cannot reflect back to him for we are a mirror and we, we cannot mirror back to him what is best for him when we are speaking to you. We can only mirror back to you. And there may be distortions in your consciousness of what you think may be best for him, but yeah, this may true. not be truly from your heart. This may be coming from your mind, from conditioning, from past programming. Mm -hmm. And we uh, may reflect this back to you. It becomes very confusing for us. I see. to reflect what we need to a being when the being is not here. Do you understand? Yes, he is in the same space as I am. However, he would be more terrified. He would not talk to you. So I will say what... All, then, all we can say How can to I you, be of help? If you can tap into my energy and see and feel what I have been experiencing for all... Well, share your months. frequency with him for a start. We we love we love we are, we apologize for speaking over you, but we know what you are saying. We we do not really need for you humans to end your sentences. We are somewhat telepathic, if you know what I mean. We yes. we understand, but we do not wish to be rude. We understand. However, we have some information. We we suggest we feel a very strong love in your heart, a very high frequency love in your heart. Is it honor to be speaking to such a beautiful soul on your planet while so many souls are stuck in so many lower dimensions? It is beautiful to be meeting souls who are coming back to their true nature, their true being. 
And we would say this heart energy that we experience within you, that we experience within yourself, this joy, this love, this bubbly, gooey feeling inside, that sharing this energy with your human, will, with your friends, will be very, very, very beneficial to him just to be in your energy. It will allow him to gain cl greater clarity as to his own path. So he is probably in much confusion at this time, trying to navigate the way out of his dilemma with his mind, which in essence is the dilemma, for his mind is confused. His mind is confused, as all minds are confused on your planet. This is a confusing time for physical minds on planet Earth, as you are transitioning to higher mind from physical mind. Mind. The physical mind is becoming redundant and the physical mind is getting very confused. And your friend sounds like he's still trying to navigate the way out of his dilemma with his physical mind, which is the problem, which is the dilemma, ironically. But being in the heart energy, being in your energy, just being in your frequency will allow him to raise his frequency, will allow him to meet you in your consciousness and reflect back to himself in you, higher parts of himself, whether intuitively or whether through you, we suggest you enter his energy field. And in essence, have you ever experimented with channeling yourself? Um, no. No. Do you, are you aware that you are always channeling on some level when you are doing what you are love, when you are lost in the moment, when you are having a conversation yes. with someone about something that excites you and it just seems to flow and there seems to be increased energy in the moment. You seem to be loving everything you say. You seem alive. The energy changes. Do you, are you aware of these states? Yes. yes. Well, yes. when you're in this state, you are essentially channeling your higher self or sometimes even guides and beings unknowingly archetypal energies. And it is this state of being in the moment, being in the love, being in the heart chakra. If you can be with your friend in the heart chakra, in the energy of love, this gooey feeling inside, this <laughs> heightened consciousness, this giggly consciousness, this high love energy, and share this with your friend and try and speak from your heart. Try and speak from this energy. Do not try and think what you need to tell him. Just see what flows in the moments when you're in the heart space, when you're in close, close, energetic connection with him and this will allow the mirror the mirror of himself to be reflected through you he will see himself in you and something will get in to his heart will bypass his confused mind his dilemma does this make sense yes yeah i think i totally try to do that on a pretty regular basis but i will tend to it more and try and get out of my mind although thinking is helpful because we have to move <laughs> and I mean there needs to be some forward motion and I'm not the answer to all his problems so no for sure <laughs> and you can still move without your physical minds believe us we do not use physical minds not in the way you do <laughs> not in the way you do and we move just fine because we don't care where we go we just go where we're excited <laughs> we, we have no fear <laughs> well I'd like a plate of that please to take with me on my journey <laughs> <laughs> right, awesome. It is yours. We give it as All a right. gift from us to you, the willingness to do what you like, without fear, whenever you want, not caring where you wind up, knowing that it's all you. It's all just more of you. It's all fun. All fun. All fun. Beautiful. Even winding beautiful, up on the beautiful. floor dead. Exciting from our <laughs> perspective. Well, not so exciting. For, not I so did. exciting from I your did. perspective. Well, you know, at this point, it might be a relief, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Thank you. Much love to you. Much love to you. Good day. Shiva. Okay. Anywhere you want, Bye. anywhere you wish. No worries. Go anywhere. Do anything. Wind up anywhere. Whatever happens, so what? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Shalom. Hello. Shalom. Shiva. Hello. How are you, my brothers? Oh, we are very good, brother. How are you today? I am excellent. Uh, I have excellent. two questions. You can answer them in a short term. First of all, I know that you are want to come here to do your own disclosure in 2018, but there are Galactic Federation rules that only uh, apply until 2019, so I'm wondering if you're still going to do disclosure on your own on 2018? 
There are many timelines. There is a, a, please expand by what you mean by our own disclosure. We're, we're not going to hack into your TV networks and pretend to be your politicians and put on a mask and say, we are disclosing the extraterrestrial phenomenon. It's all real. We covered it up after all. We won't be doing that. Please expand what you mean from disclosure. Well, first contact. First contact. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. There are many levels of first contact. This is one. The transmission from the channel to you. Dream time contact is already going on. There are individual one-to-one -one contacts. But if you mean landing on the White House lawn, we won't be doing that yet. We perceive it's probably not safe for us to just walk out onto your White House lawn. To use a quote from the Bashar, would you land in a lunatic asylum when all the, where all the lunatics have guns? <laughs> Maybe if it's my highest excitement. Well, yes, yes, yes. If it was our highest excitement, we would do it. But we think it is unlikely to be our highest excitement to end our lives in such a dramatic fashion, unless it served a great purpose. And there have been beings who have lonely extraterrestrial entities who have knowingly entered your reality, knowing, strongly feeling that they will be sacrificing themselves in this way. And they know that by doing that, it will be having a dramatic impact on your consciousness. But we won't be doing that. We will not be doing that, we assure you. We fairly well assure you. However, we will say that by the year of 2018, there will very, very, very likely have been a mass sighting of a boomerang-shaped craft. Also, Similar to the Phoenix Lights, are you aware with the Phoenix Lights sighting of the Yael craft? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We say it is highly likely that that will be happening 2018 or prior. We estimate for 2017 around a 60% chance of a mass sighting of our extraterrestrial boomerang space shaped craft. But for 2018, a 90% likelihood of a mass sighting, aka Phoenix Light style light sighting, of our boomerang shaped craft. However, at present, in your Earth space reality, Contact is going on. Contact has ramped up since your time of the spring equinox around the 20th, 21st of March. There has been an increased contact level. You crossed a threshold. Have you shifted from your, your winter time space introverted consciousness into your summer time space extroverted consciousness you reached a critical threshold that is to enable more conscious contact with our civilization so it is ongoing so there are contacts in many forums in many ways with many of us with many of you much on an individuated consciousness much on a consciousness level. Many of our ships are entering your consciousness, are entering your time-space reality with the purpose of amping up your consciousness incrementally. And many of you are experiencing our consciousness, whether consciously or unconsciously, quite regularly now. The channel, for example, has been experiencing our ships entering his time-space reality on a monthly basis since your spring equinox of this year, the solar cycle. However, he has not seen any craft in this period, to the best of his conscious knowledge. However, he is feeling our energy very palpably, very palpably indeed in the reality. We are entering your reality. We are somewhat hiding behind your clouds, hiding our craft with cloaking devices, entering your time-space reality closer, really closer than we ever have before, generally. 
And this is having the effect on the channel of tuning his consciousness in to our consciousness, tuning his consciousness in to our frequency, our expanded consciousness, the knowing that we are infinite reality. The channel's consciousness expands to encompass all of his reality as our consciousness expands all of our reality into all of our reality. He sees us as consciousness, as pure consciousness pervading a vast area covering miles. Our aura covers the entire vista, the entire vista of the channel's reality, the entire space time continuum the channel is aware of in the moment. Our consciousness expands out into this reality. And the channel sees that we are not our ships. We are not our bodies. We are not our minds. We are pure consciousness, pure awareness. And when we merge into the channel's time space reality, he feels us. He feels our consciousness everywhere. He knows that we are not confined to our bodies. He knows that we are outside of our bodies. He knows that we are everywhere. He knows that our consciousness is in everything in our conscious awareness. When we enter your time space field of Earth, we can perceive through our eyes, as you perceive through your eyes, a certain field of vision to your horizon or to any buildings or mountains or trees that block the horizon. This reality is you. This reality, your vista is you. This is your conscious co-creation. This is your moment. What you see around you now with your eyes is you. This is you. You are not your body. You are not your mind. You are not your thoughts. You are not anything you call confined within yourself. You are everything you perceive around you. You are everything you perceive. Ultimately, you are all that is. You are all a creation. But for the purpose of this explanation, this communication, you are coming to see that everything you are perceiving within your consciousness is you. And this is how we perceive our reality all the time. We do not perceive ourselves in our bodies. We perceive ourselves in everything. And specific to this explanation, in Everything we perceive, our consciousness is in you right now. Our consciousness is in the channel. Our consciousness is in Gaia, is in planet Earth. We are planet Earth. We are the air. We are the space time. We are the molecules. We are the hyperspace. We are the space between the molecules. We are the voids. We are the antimatter. We are the matter. And we experience ourselves as everything. And the channel feels this in us. When we enter into our time space reality, the channel senses us. He senses us everywhere because we are everywhere. And this is, is the, main, the main idea of contact, of first contact that we are entering into at the moment. It is the idea that we are sharing our consciousness with you. We are sharing our consciousness with you on many levels. Through the dream time, through channeling like this, through the energetic consciousness we have spoken of in some still fairly rare cases, physical contact in UFO sightings. It's all about raising your consciousness. It's all about raising your frequency to a frequency more like our frequency, more like our consciousness, because we understand that you still have stuff, stuff in your system. You still have trauma. You still have negative beliefs. You still have out of alignment definitions. You still have beliefs in the physical body being you. You still have beliefs in the mind being you. You still have subconscious fears of death. You still have fears of survival. And if we came, if our consciousness entered your reality instantly, we would affect your reality so drastically so intensely that it would foster your surface so much of your stuff 
that you would go into psychotic shock. You would not be able to deal with it. And many of you are experiencing this already. One day you feel ecstatic, the next day you feel suicidal. Some of you are going through such an intense acceleration of consciousness that he's bringing to your surface your stuff so rapidly because you chose from your higher self, you chose from your conscious mind, the want, the need to accelerate rapidly in your reality that you are experiencing so much ecstasy and so much suffering in such short, contrasting time periods. But this is the acceleration of consciousness and this is what we wish to share with you. We do not wish for you to suffer, but this is the way out. This is your time, Earth humans. You are entering a new reality. You are entering a new conscious time space. You are entering a new now where we are all one. We are all one consciousness. And this is the understanding you are coming to realize, but it is up to us to raise your consciousness slowly. But we, we do not wish to leave you in a vegetative state. We do not wish to leave you in a state where you are unable to function in your reality. We do not wish to surf force to the surface trauma faster than you are able to deal with. So it is a step-by-step -step process. Contact is about raising your consciousness to a level where you can meet our consciousness face-to-face -face in love, in compassion, in unity, in oneness, with the understanding that you are the infinite one creator, that you are infinite consciousness, that you are infinite beingness. And we all exist here and now in this moment. We all exist as one. We are one infinite being. And this can be a shock to your system, Earth humans. So the idea of first contact is to incrementally step up, in incrementally encourage you to follow your excitement, follow your calling, follow your hearts, raise your frequency to a meditation, to translocation, to any methods you wish to raise your frequency to our level, to a level similar to ours and the extraterrestrial civilizations you wish to meet with. For really, this is not about us. This is about you because we are you. It is about realizing you that are the one infinite creator. And to perceive us, you need to know yourselves as the one infinite creator. You cannot perceive us truly in your reality until you know that we are you because then you are on our level. Then you are on our consciousness and you will see that we are you and you are us and there is only oneness. Because this is not about us. This is about you because we are you, Earth humans. We are your consciousness. We have come to remind you who you are. We have come to remind you that infinite consciousness is you. We have come to remind you that we are you. We have come to wake you up. We are yourselves giving yourselves a wake up call. It's 11, 11 a.m. humans. It's time to wake the up. Does this make sense? Yes. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, uh, humans. Next Can we is... expand? Okay, okay. Next is Lila, but you can expand if you like. We, we feel we have shared enough, but if the questioner uh, feels he needs any more points of clarification. Hmm. I think it's okay, and uh, we have several more questioners, so I suggest we move to Lila now. Thank you, Max. Hi, my name is Lila. I got a hybrid child with your uh, species. With me? With no, me? Maybe. I hope with you. I don't know. <laughs> you hope with me? Oh my God. Why not? Why not? You are a human, future human, so why not? I can reproduce yes, yes. properly. We, we are the hybrids though. We are the hybrids. We are the children. We are more likely to be your child than your lover. Well, I got a child there, so you are kind of my family. So I it is possible to access that info about the child or no? Your child? You, you feel you have a child in a Yael civilization? I know that I have it. We, we, us, this, this version of the Yael civilization, we are from down timeline, down timeline. There are many generations. Your child may be our great, 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 great grandparents. We, we think you are referring to a child on a different timeline. Of course, all timelines are one. You, you have a hybrid child. Have you, have you been partaking in the temporary detainment phenomenon, the abduction no. phenomenon? Not at all. But so uh, the next question would be, because it sounds too complicated at this point, uh, the, next okay. question, the next question would be, what is my connection with your species? 
because our uh, connection how, with our species my personal connection like past future present past future present well we are a future civilization so one moment one moment yes 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 hello hello we are you we are we are your counterpart i am your counterpart hello hello wonderful hello hello we so not you... much proceed hello do you have a message hello hello that's love you we love you hello okay hello. that's that sounds simple. i am you i am you do you do you remember i am you well i told you from the beginning you you are the one you're whatever <laughs> so we <laughs> wonderful i am the, you are the one too we are all the one so we are all one consciousness i am you right. all the people you, you, the people in this group now do you feel that we are all from the future it's not about me everybody who is now in the chat room are we are we a part of the future you all have future counterparts uh, understand in essence there is no future we are all part of the now everything is this here and now but yes we understand we we presume you are saying does everyone in this room have counterpart humans aspects of their soul consciousness from the future is this the question you are asking i was asking if the people in the group here are we all a part of you Yes, yes. Okay, all good. creation is one. You are Wonderful. all. You are all us. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. In 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 essence, yes. You are all in the future because you are all in me, and I am from your future, and I have come back to your past. But this is all now, and this is where it becomes that it's all now because it just makes no sense any longer. There right. is only here and now. Future is an illusion, and you could say that you exist in the future because I am from your future, and you are in me. Okay. But I have come back to your past, so this is all very confusing for your physical very minds, confusing. we presume. Can you see me in, in the future and what I am doing with you? <laughs> oh, mm, mm, yes, yes, we, we see pyramids. Are Ooh. you drawn to pyramids? Yes, I'm completely into Egypt and other Oh, stuff. yes, 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 visit the pyramids. Try and get to the top of the pyramids, if at all possible. We, we don't know how easy it is for your Earth humans to raise to the top of your pyramids. We can't. Can we see you? No, no. Hmm. You can't at present. Mm. Yes, we cannot. We can all, no, only in the dreams. Yes, dreams. Some pyramids, yes. And my cousin went to Giza pyramid top, so it's possible theoretically. Ooh. But it is expensive for us. Yes, yes. Yes. We see you. We see you on pyramids in future with us. Pyramids help connect our consciousness. We love so, your pyramid sites. So, we love Giza. So that that means in the future I will not need money, so I can climb there for free. I like that. Yes, if you are good at climbing, well, sneak in at the night time with some ropes and picks. You may get up. You are going to help me, brother. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It is difficult for you to enter the consciousness of our crafts to lift you up and drop you on the top. But who knows? Who knows? That would be exciting. Hmm? Very. So here is the last question. Uh, do you see any talent in me for channeling? Yes. Yes. We sense your energy. We sense your energy. You have very high frequency energy. When you have energy as you have, channeling is easy. You wish. You wish speak. Counterpart yeah, yell me uh, me you uh, I think it is too 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 aggressive for me and energetically I will explore I think with your energy okay we try we try be less energy aggressive but like you say part of our purpose is amplification perhaps mm. not aggressive we don't like term aggressive but well, we understand what energetic. you mean Our, it's just too energetic yes. i am rather i rather prefer somebody quiet channel uh go through would me. you like us to see see if there any is anyone willing yes willing to speak to you yes one moment 
One moment. One moment. Thank you. Hello. 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 Please remind name. We know not your name. My name is Leela. Leela. Leela, yes. Hello. Is our energy more conducive to your to your preference, Leela? Yes. Your energy is perfect. I love it. Who we are, are you? We are Lyra. <gasps> Lyra, you you know Lyra? I do. I come from there. Ah, Lyra, yeah. Yeah, we love we love you. We love Lyra. We love heart energy. We love water. Lyra. Yes. Yes, Lila. Lila, Lyra. Lila, Lyra. Lyra, Lyra. Yeah, it fits. Yes. We I, we are you. We are part of you. Could you could you de describe yourself a little bit? Uh is a person, is a group? Yes, we have a purple, a bluish purple hue skin, a bluish purple skin, a mottled hue, a slightly mottled hue, a we are slender, slender of being, slightly larger eyes, electric blue eyes. We are much aligned with the energy of the purple chakras, the blues. We have similar frequency to the Pleiadian civilization. We have connections with the Pleiadian civilization. Mm -hmm. we, we are many and we are one. We are one and we are many. We are a collective mind. We express as a collective mindset. The consciousness of our planet is unified in one field of consciousness, one social memory complex, as sometimes referred to on your planet. We are one consciousness. We are one what, mind. What is the planet? We are in the, the system of Lyra. Okay, that's great. Uh, so here is my message to you and request if you would like to work with me and uh, use me as a channel you are absolutely welcome and I love you already oh wow we love you too we love you too this is an opportunity we have waited for for eons okay and at the I am same time I am ready I am ready anytime if you need to tune me in uh, stretch me in every direction whatever you need it you just do whatever you need it to do. I am ready for you for the service. Okay, we wish not to stretch your body. We wish not to <laughs> inflict physical harm on you. We love you, but we understand your meaning. We, I have a we, humor. <laughs> may we connect with you in dream time, Lila, Lila, Lyra. Thank you. Is this okay for us to connect with you in the dream time? We need your permission. Anytime, anytime, you're welcome. You are my family, original, one of my original families. So that is very touching for me and very, I really, I'm really thankful that we can, we could reconnect right now. I'm really, really thankful for that. And we are thankful for you too. We love you from our hearts to your hearts, from our dreams to your dreams. Sweet okay, dreams, dear one, sweet dreams. Good day. Thank you. I don't want to take too much time for other uh, waiting for uh, for the channel. Never mind. Thank you for uh, for your message. Thank you. Look to your dreams. Look for unusually energetic dreams. You will feel very strong energy within your dreams. They will be different to normal dreams. You will have powerful energy in your dreams. This will be the entry point of our en energy merging with your energy and will enable us, you to channel us in other forms in the future. Good day, Lila Lyra. Good day. Good day. Thank you. Lyra Lyra. I have to go pee. That's what it is. It's 12 o'clock.
That's not the glass from the sink that you're drinking from. Next caller, next question. Please proceed. He hello, is it still the Yael or? Hello, hello, we're back. Good day, we are back. We are welcome, we are you. We are the Yael. Good day, Earth human, good day. We're back, we're here, we're present, we're now. Proceed. Yes, I, I learned that I have a Yael being that is one of my other lifetime living right yes now, many of you do many of you in this call do many of you in this transmission do very relevant proceed yeah also that i have some yael dna so I, I was wondering about when i was kid i used to speak to oh see it's more that we have your dna than you have our dna but understand that you are our forefathers yeah uh, I, when I was a kid, I was out in the forest uh, playing with uh, sp spirits of the forest, and then I was channeling my Yael counterpart while I was doing that. <laughs> but I don't remember anything of it. Can you tell me anything about that? You will remember in due timing, in perfect timing, hold the will in your heart to remember. We suggest it is more relevant for your reality to remember in your own timing. It is more relevant for your own proceeding, your own progression to amplification of consciousness that you remember in your own timing. We, we suggest you hold it in your hearts. Perhaps meditate on the experience. See what comes to you. May come in dream time. May come in glimpses, fragments. We suggest the more you tune into this the more natural your process will be the more beneficial your process will be than for us to directly relay it to you now to your physical mind who may not really sink in with it anyway does this help yes do you have any any other messages out there for me personally hello 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 Hello, 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 hello. Hi, who who am I speaking to? We, I, I am your counterpart from Yael. Hello, hello, hello. I am you. Do you have a name? I am you. Okay, that's. You can call me. You can call me for now, for now, for now. Huckalo one, Huckalo one. It will remind you of this communication. Okay. It will remind you of this communication, of this expression of consciousness, of this pioneering venture, the pioneering venture of the Huckalo community, the idea of creating a community on your earth, of creating a new venture, and the idea that I am part of this community. It is all about community, Earth community, Earth community, Earth community. We are becoming part of your Earth community. It is more relevant for you to think of us as becoming part of your Earth community than you becoming more part of our community. And we so are of course with timing. Yes, yes. But it's all about Earth at the minute. It's all about Earth. So the idea, if you use the idea of Huckalo One. It will remind you of this transmission. It will remind you of this call. It will zone your frequency into my core resonant vibration, which is more relevant than any name, because we do not use names. We are telepathic in, commun in communication. We do not really use names, only for your benefit. It is more relevant for you to tune into my frequency, my mm -hmm. dimensional pitch. Do you, do you have I, a symbol I can use? A symbol, a symbol, a symbol. Like an image or anything I can think of. How about think. an homage? I don't Rather know. Rather than I mean. image, an homage. 
Do you understand the idea of Om on your planet? Not really. I haven't. Om. In your, in your ancient teachings, particularly in your ancient Hindu traditions, very sacred teachings on your planet, very sacred ancient knowledge, very powerful knowledge, very message similar to message we bring you, the idea of Om, Om, Om. Om, Om, Om is the signature frequency of creation. It has been symbolized on your planet as the frequency of creation. And if you use, if you look up Om, spelt O-M or A-U-M, look up Om and look up the symbol of Om. It is an ancient Sanskrit symbol for Om. There is a symbol representative of Om. And the Om will remind you that we are one. We are one consciousness. Om is the sound of oneness. Om is the realization that you are the one. You are the one consciousness. You are me and I am you. The idea of the name, Hokalo One, to tune in to my frequency and the idea of the frequency of Om. 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 <laughs> Thank you this so idea, much. This idea will remind you that I am you. It will remind you of this transmission. It will remind you of the, the seed that has been sown by this transmission for the formation of a new earth colony, a new earth colony interacting with the Yael civilization and interacting with many civilizations and interacting with the understanding that you are all one. We are all um, Om, Om. Om. We are all one. We are all one consciousness. We are all one frequency. We are all Yael. We are all Earth human. We are all Syrian, all Pleiadian, all one Om. So use the symbol for Om. Look up Om. Look up A U M. Find the symbol, find the ancient Sanskrit symbol. Know this is a symbol. You can tune into the idea of oneness, the idea of I, the idea of Hokalo One. And remember that it's my frequency, it's your frequency, and it's the frequency one that is relevant for you Earth humans now. It's all about frequency. It's all about tuning into frequency, out of the desired frequency, the centered frequency of Hokalo One, the desired frequency of Om. All things shall come to you. All things shall be born. For all things are born out of Om. Does this help? Yeah, I, I will see in the future when I start learning more about that. See what's happening. What exciting things it will bring to me. All things come to those who are centered. All things relevant come to those who are centered in the frequency of Om. Okay. I Thank you. Next Ellie, is Ellie want to, to yeah. use, have a question too. Thank you, Shivai. Good day. Hello, Shivai, Elena. Elena. Hello, Shivai, Elena. Hello, reflecting from us to you, from you to us in one consciousness. Hello, proceed, please, with your question and answer. Yes, reflecting, reflecting, reflecting. I would like to ask. Uh, uh, how how would you advise us humans to be from to start um, to start um, each other uh, giving the personal example to motivate ourselves? From your point of view, it's very interesting to see the perspective. In order to help ourselves, just with the meditations, with the movement, with the simple things, with the first steps, in order to start the whole machine running. <coughs> Are you familiar with the Bashar and the Bashar's teaching of following your excitement? Yes, very well. Yes, yes. Well, excitement is motivation, is it not? Are you not motivated to do what excites you? When you are highly excited, does motivation not come easily in your reality? Yes. Yes, we suggest you look to your excitement. We suggest, as the Bashar once said, on multiple occasions, all here, all now, all on this frequency, 
all on different frequencies in the here and now. The Bashar once said multiple times, always follow your excitement to the best of your ability in any given moment, without hesitation, without expectation. In the knowing, in the understanding, you will always be supported in any way you wish. You will always draw to you the needs, the trust, the abundance. If you stay in the trust, the abundance will be drawn to you. It will. Everything you need to process to take you into higher levels of excitement, anything you need to be looked at in yourself to process, to redefine in yourselves, to realign in yourselves will be drawn to you. The opportunities, the experiences, the knowledge it will all be drawn to you through following your excitement moment to moment to enable you to follow your excitement more to more, moment to moment. Is this idea of following your excitement moment to moment is the driving force, it is the motivating force, but it is also the creative principle. Yes. Knowing that you create your reality out of your excitement. And this must motivate you more, knowing that you when you are motivated from your excitement, knowing that the excitement will create a more exciting reality. So you can be excited to be excited about being excited to create an exciting reality. In mm -hmm. essence, follow your excitement, as the Bashar once said multiple times, all in the here and now. <laughs> Does this yes. help? Can we yes. expand further? Um, I think this is good. Um, I would uh, invite you also to uh, interact with me in my uh, sleep time, in my astral oh. Oh, sleep time, fun, fun, fun great. Fun. More Thank you. Welcome. Just not we will come. <laughs> okay, okay, we get your meaning. meaning. Yes, and um, I would uh, invite as well, if it's possible, a Pleiadian, a Pleiadian being to come through. It's very interesting to hear it from this channel. One moment, Thank one you. moment. Hello, hello, hello. Who are we speaking? Hello. We are your Pleiadian counterpart. Hello. Hello. Hello, we are Pleiadian energy, Pleiadian yeah. consciousness, Happy to Pleiadian you. civilization. Give us a message. We... Can you give us a message, a huge little message today? A message yeah. from us to you. Hello. We love you, Earth humans. We love you so much. We love you unerringly, undefyingly, un, un-everythingly. We have no blocks to our love for you. We have no blocks for our love to your consciousness. We have no blocks for our love to your beingness. We have no blocks, no blocks at all. We are you, and we are one, and we are the understanding that there is only love, there is only beingness, there is only creation, there is only love, there is only love. And it is our love, to your love. This is key, this is key to connecting with us, to connect with your heart. The time-space continuum of your heart, the void of your heart, the black hole of your heart, where your heart connects you beyond time and space, beyond creation, into the unmanifest, unmanifest reality of the one creator. In a sense, your heart is a void into which all bliss, all love flows from the one creator into your reality. And when you tune in to your heart, see the universe in your heart, see the one creator, the formless one creator in your heart, you will see it is all love. Love is the primordial creation force of the universe. Love is primordial creation in momentum. Love is primordial creation in beingness. Love is all there is. Love pervades everything. This is the message from the Pleiades. 
love and compassion burns all bridges. Love and compassion burns all boundaries. Love and compassion burns everything until there is nothing left but you. Nothing left but love. But the idea is that you burn your bridges to your past beliefs with love. You burn everything up in love. You burn it all up in love. This is the process that is undertaking on your planet at this time. The burning up of love. The burning up in love. Love is burning all. Love is conquering all. Love is permeating your reality. Every molecule, every cell of your reality. Love is permeating all reality. All time space. All earth is being permeated with love. Unconditional love being radiated from all of the universe. From so many beings in creation. From so many beings of love. So many beings of love in creation. All emanating love from the heart to your reality. Waiting for you to accept. Accept the love. The infinite love being beamed from the core of the cosmos. The core of the galaxy. The galactic core. Beaming love to your planet. The universe. The creator. All beaming love to your planet. Many beings acting as great beings, eight great beacons, radiating out love into your planet. It is permeating. This is the idea of the fourth density transition. The fourth density is the density of love, the love light density, the density of the heart. You are moving in essence from your solar plexus, from your fear based reality into love, into your heart, into a love based reality where you embrace all of creation and you understand that there is nothing to fear because all is love, all is you. No matter what happens to you, it is all love. You can only find more love in yourself. Wherever you go, when you let go of your old beliefs, when you burn the bridges to your old reality, let yourself move in free fall into love. You only find more love. There is only love. And this is why fear is an illusion. Because there's nothing to fear. When you know everything is love, there is no thing to fear. You will only find more love if you trust in the love. And this is the idea of moving from the solar plexus fear-based chakra into the heart love-based chakra. Love. 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 Love is all you need. This was once famously sung on your planet. Love. Love. Thank you. Much love. And I give the question to the next one thank you we feel your love we feel your love and we are grateful and we send our love to you our Likewise. love to you likewise likewise much love our human much love much love um now it's my turn um i invite um you guys to show up in the sky and visit us in person I guess it is. It relates to everyone participating, but uh, specifically for our workshop in August, we'll do meditation where we invite you. So it's. Uh, I just uh, reiterate the idea of inviting you to show up in the sky and in person down with to our group, and also I invite you to my uh, to myself as uh, in my dreams in uh, in ships in a physical way and I apply for visitation to your ships. We, we will be there in your August. Thank you. Can you sh share more with us about your upcoming event in August? Uh, it's uh, August 3rd, August 8th in uh, Buffalo, New York, Rochester, New York. Everything's turned off purposely. How do you, okay, it's when they mute. All right. Trying to mute, okay, good. All okay. Right. We will be there. We will be sharing your conscious time plane. Your time plane. We will show up. We will show up, Earth humans. We will show up. The degree to which we show up is up to you. Between mm -hmm. now and then, how much you choose to align with your excitement, how much you choose to align with your hearts, how much you choose to align with your calling, your true purpose. As many of you are coming to clearly see, clearly to know, what your higher excitement is, what your higher encompassing reality, choice reality is, just still letting yourselves be held back 
by fears, by subconscious beliefs, by resistance to what others may think of you, by resistance to what you may think of yourself. Strangely enough, by fears, fears of lack of support, but now is the time to let go of that. The more you let go and ride this wave of accelerated consciousness, but now is a critical time on your earth plane, a critical time of consciousness. We say this a lot, but it is always more and more critical, but particularly now. You have entered a new reality. There is a new crest of consciousness rising. There is a new wave riding. And we invite you to ride the wave. We invite you not to just bob around in the eddies, bob around in the currents and get pulled along. We invite you to raid the crest. Ray, ride the bow wave. Ride the bow wave and shock your reality. Shock your reality. Be prepared to shock your reality with who you can be. For you will shock your reality. Shock your fellow Earth humans as they see you align with your higher self, as they see you align with your core purpose, your calling, your true nature, your one true self, your one true being. As many of you know, know what you are supposed to be doing. You know what your excitement is, but you're hesitating. You're not doing it. You're not doing it to the fullest of your ability. We say now it's critical, critical, critical to change your reality. If you understood the magnitudes, the magnitudes from our perspective, we do not wish to instill fear in your humans. We do not wish this, but understand that we are reaching a critical magnitude. We are reaching a critical mass. And now is the time more than ever to align with your highest excitements, align with your joy and the knowledge that it is a service to all. It is a service to all of creation. It is of service to all beings, all matter, all consciousness. When you are truly in alignment with your heart, not in alignment with anxiety disguised as love, anxiety disguised as excitement, really tune in, saying, do I really need this from a lack-based, fear-based belief, or do I truly inspired through the love of the one infinite creator to express this form of myself in creation, express this form of myself in reality? Express this nature, my true beingness, who I really am in creation. Who do you want to be? Who do you really want to be? Where do you see yourselves in August? What is your, entire, what is your ideal timeline? Visualize yourselves at this event in August. Visualize the perfect you, the highest version of you. What would you be doing? What, what would you have done? What would you have accomplished? In the, in the coming months, between now and August, what would you have accomplished in your highest reality? But do not let this limit you. But understand when you step on the train, step on the train of your highest excitement, it pulls you along so fast. And what to your physical mind is the ceiling? As Bashar once said, to the higher mind is the floor. What to your physical mind is the ceiling? To your higher mind is the floor. Well, the idea is that what you think is your most epic ultimate reality is nothing to your higher self. Your higher self can create realities for you, more expansive, more dramatic, more blissful, more ecstatically synchronous than you can possibly imagine. So align with your highest version. Use it as a permission slip to align, but know that this is not the ultimate reality. Your physical minds cannot possibly, it's beyond their capability to be perceived the, the highest reality possible for you. But use this idea as a permission slip of visualizing yourselves in the, this August period, this event, sitting there thinking, wow, I really stepped it up after that transmission. I really stepped it up after that huckalo call with the yeah yell. They really helped super fast align me. They really helped me get through all those fears. All of a sudden, I had no fears at all. I just jumped onto the train, jumped onto my highest excitement. I don't know. My fears just meddled away. I saw them all to be illusory. I saw it was all just love. I saw, how can I be fearful of anything when it's all just me? I know I'm the one infinite creator. I know I'm infinite creation. I know I'm infinite bliss. I know all things are within me. And so use this as a permission slip to align with your highest excitement. And this will create a perfect reality where contact will be much more visible. And some of you may even have 
physical contact if you align with your highest reality. However, know for sure our consciousness will be in your reality and you will sense us. You will sense us. You will sense us. Yay, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm also going every month, I'm going to uh, a meditation in the campground and next one is this Saturday. So I will be there inviting you guys to show up. A meditation at the what ground, sorry? It's a campground. We sit around the fire and then we go and oh, sit a campground, in, the dark, yes. in the dark, in a beautiful nature place and invite. It's closed, closed, it's, it is called Close, Close Encounters Type 5. CE5. Oh, fantastic, yes. And you use the, the protocols of the Stephen Greer protocols of the yes. coherent thought sequencing? Yes, we use Stephen Greer's protocol, yes. It is four one yes. five. Yes, yes, yes. So invite... Visualize the campfire. We will remember the campfire. Excellent. The campfire will be our permission slip. Yeah. Visualize the campfire and we will Enter in. No, no, no. What is more important is to tune in to the consciousness in your area. Remember, as we said in a previous question, it's all about consciousness levels at the minute. We are entering into your reality to raise your consciousness. Visual sightings are not that relevant. Physical sightings are less relevant. Consciousness raising is paramount. Consciousness raising is critical, and we are entering our consciousness. No, no, no. When you sense your reality expanding, when you sense us in the clouds, no, we are there. Absolutely. Uh, I have a second uh, uh, request. Um, can I speak to my uh, alien counterpart, personal, personal individual? Do you have a, do you mean in the Yael civilization? Uh, whoever is closest to me, I believe it would be the Yael or Pleiadian. I feel Yael, but I'm not sure. One moment. Hello. Hello, I'm here, Max. Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Who are you? I am you. And I'm you too. I love you. I am you too. <laughs> With which timeline are you? Are you more far in the future or are you here? We are here. We are merging with your timeline in some ways. We are from the future, but we are merging with your timeline in some ways. Do you have a body? We would say we, would say we are becoming more your timeline, but we are from the future. Does this yes. make sense? Yes. Uh, do you have a body? Yes. Are you male or female? Male. Uh -huh. uh, are you aware of me? Were you aware of me before, before I called? Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you involved in my life? How much? Mm, this much? Thank you. We, right. we, we, we are playing with you some, while we, we are always involved in your life in some way, because as you know, you are one with us. We, are, we have always been part of your consciousness, but we have been on the sidelines. We have been deep in your hyper-consciousness, deep in your deep in your hyper-consciousness, not in this reality. However, we have always been you. We have always been you. We have always been here. And in essence, we have never been here. Because there is only now. There is only this moment. And you are creating us in this moment. For all we are is this moment. All you are is this moment. Past and future are illusions. All is here, all is now. All there is to me is this. This. This body that you do not perceive. And all there is to you is this voice. And your body. 
which we do not perceive, not, not visually. Do you understand the idea that this is all there is? That yes. there is no past, there is no future. There is only infinite consciousness resonating on particular frequencies. And really the way we experience us is this. There is really no evidence to sustain the fact that prior to this moment, we had any form at all. That we had a body that looked like this, that we talked like this, that we communicated with you. It is only an illusion created in this moment, created in this now. It's all created in this now. The idea of this call existing, the idea of this call lasting for one and a half hours, or however long we have been chatting, the channel gets disoriented time-wise. The idea that we had this past call, there is no evidence that it ever existed. We created it in this moment, this now. We created the belief that there was a past. But if we believe that we create our pasts from the, from the now, we can change that past to the fact that that call never existed. That we just spontaneously appeared from another planet, from another dimension, and shifted into this reality, into this call. Can you almost tap into the feeling that on what, in one reality, one infinite parallel possible reality, we were literally on another planet feeding the fish, feeding purple fish in a pond, literally one moment ago. And we shifted to a reality, this reality, where we believe that we have been in a channeling car for one and a half minutes, but we haven't. It's just an illusion. We were really feeding fish on a purple planet with purple fish in a dimension far, far away. In a galaxy far, far away, a long time ago. Do you see what we are pointing to? Yes. <clears throat> yes. My interest in my excitement is to transform the, the, the humanity at the moment. And I want it to, I want the contact, open contact with the aliens, and I want it to become galactic society. And I want the awakening of the whole humanity. So I want personally to be involved in that process and to, to, to do things that matter. So I invite your help with that. We would suggest you do not get too attached to the idea of wanting to awaken humanity because understand all humanity has free will and some beings may choose out of their free will not to awaken but they will shift to a new timeline well this is the idea that you cannot really awaken other humans particularly other humans that do not wish to be awakened all you can do is awaken yourself and in awakening yourself you will shift to a parallel version of earth where everyone is waking up everyone is waking up and a part of this idea of raising your frequency and awakening yourself is understanding there is in a sense a fundamental law of the love and the light and that is the law of free will so do not want for other humans to wake up offer them the potential the choice to wake up but it's up to them, it's free will. And understand that you are never really waking anyone up, really, for it's all just you. There is nothing outside of you. It's all in your consciousness. It's just a reflection of you. As you raise your frequency, as you, through your own path, through your own, through all your own chosen path of service to humanity, of service to your humanity, you are really just serving yourself you're really just serving yourself it's all you and as you serve yourself you raise your own consciousness and you awaken from the dream and as you awaken from the dream to greater and greater levels of clarity you get this reflected back to you by shifting to a parallel version of earth a parallel version of yourself where many more beings are on a similar frequency to your enlightened consciousness does this help does this make sense Yes, I invite uh, help in, uh, in my awakening, then. You, you invite help from, yes. from us? Yes. Yes, yes, we are very glad. We always 
always, always, always resonate to the call for help in awakening. This is our calling. This is our highest excitement. This is our service. This is how we raise our own consciousness. We know that we are serving ourselves. We are always looking for ways to serve ourselves because we know it's all us. And we see this planet, this planet called Earth, screaming out saying, help, 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 we need help. We want to raise our consciousness. And we're thinking, wow, we can serve ourselves immensely by serving that figment of our consciousness, by that expression of our consciousness. And of course, we understand that you have physical beingness, you have autonomy, you have your own sentience, but we understand we are all one being, in a sense, looking in on each other, different sides of the same coin, different perspectives of the one consciousness. But we know it's all just us, ultimately. It's the only thing we can be sure of, it's all just us. And we know that through serving ourselves, through serving others, we are serving ourselves, through serving humanity, we are raising our own consciousness. So we always look for beings to serve. We always look for people calling out to us. And we will help you in any way we can. Any way we can. Any way we can. You may contact us in a variety of methods through your close encounters of the fifth kind protocols, through your CE5 meditations, through your campfire situations. You may contact us through the channel, reflecting back to yourselves, from yourself to yourself, from us from the us you, through the channel you, to the you you, all just you. In this form, we, we, we can help you. You can connect with us yourselves, through third eye meditations, through raising your frequency, through dream time, and we are always willing to help you, yes. yes. Absolutely, thank you very much. Uh, next is Marlene. Marlene, hello. Athena here, how are you? Sorry, please repeat your name. Athena here. Athena. Hello, Athena. Hello, Shivai. We love you. Please yes. proceed. I love you please too. Please proceed. Thank you. Thank you so much, all our brothers and sisters. Much love and gratitude for all the galactics who are with us today. I am thrilled. Um, Thank you. Much love from the galactic alliance from our collective consciousness all listening in on this call now we appreciate your connection with us hello hello from all of us hello hello you are speaking about first of all i, I would like to say that our future is bright um thank you for your all your help your guidance and um, being here, here with us today, my point is in regards to the blueprint you were speaking about. How relevant is it at this particular point to be uh, in connection with the admin cadman blueprint? Um, and if if it is, there is relevance to that. How can we um, exponentially tap into it and help? in uh, getting the awareness of humans to be for them to open up their consciousness are you referring to the idea that there is a a blueprint for awakening on your planet the admin cadman which is related to humanity which yes, is the blueprint yes the, the blueprint for humanity yes Correct, yes, yes. Yes, the blueprint for humanity is awakening at this time. Just, you, you may understand that you are destined to awaken at some point. However, the choice is up to you. You always have free will. The most important thing is to align with your destiny. Align with your calling. Or well, this can play out in a variety of ways. But the, the plan for Earth is to awaken. However, there will be parallel realities, parallel dimensions, parallel versions of Earth that do not awaken. This is fine. This is fine. We live in an infinite reality, an infinite universe. All possibilities must refract, reflect, like a fractal yes. on many levels. But understand, it's up to you to align with this blueprint aligned with the destiny, the calling of planet Earth. For there is a, a deep longing, a deep yearning from Gaia, from Mother Earth, for your civilization to transcend, 
to fourth density, to transcend to the next level, to an awakened consciousness. But it's up to you. You have to do your part, or it's all just you. It's all existing within your consciousness. How can, you, uh, can you give us guidance as far as connecting to that, to our blueprint? Yes, yes, it's your excitement. As we have expressed before, your blueprint, your calling, the true call you, the true core essential you, is your excitement. The physical vibration of your higher self in, in physical reality is excitement, joy, bliss, creativity, abundance, knowingness, wisdom, diversity, expression of love. Your blueprint is your excitement. Your calling is your excitement. Who you are is that which excites you the most. May, may, we, may we ask you what excites you? Love, <laughs> creation, Love. being outdoors, Love. nature, humans, children, <laughs> the connection with my galactic family. Do you have a, a specific way in mind you would like to express this love for humanity, this love for nature, this love for children, this love for your galactic family? Do you have a specific expression in mind of how would you wish to use your creativity to create this in reality? Well, the connection first off to my higher self, I think this is one of the key um, elements to be able to tap into the power, the light that we are, and to tap yes, in, yes. into connect into in, with Creator, tap into the omniverse. But first of all, one needs to be totally in sync, totally connected to our higher self, and from there, um, it's infinity. Yes, and that's yes. what you have been teaching us. Um, yes, excitement. The excitement. Of this call. Exactly. It brings joy, and joy is creates. Joy is love. Yes, it brings joy. And excitement and joy is the key. Follow your excitement moment to moment. That which you that in which way you desire to express excitement physically in your domain. That is the expression of your higher self. That is the way to connect more and more with your higher self. Do you have a specific way? A specific creation you would like to create in reality what is your do, do you wish just to meditate and connect with higher self and that's it or do you wish to use your connection to higher self to create something to share with others in a specific modality is there a specific excitement you wish to express on planet earth a more specific excitement well i am connected to my higher self at all times and from there my connection, because I'm connected to my higher self, it enables me to connect to the larger, to the to humans, through um, through telepathy or through words or my actions or just sending out love, um, being in that frequency of love. For me, that is part of why i chose this incarnation to bring in the christ consciousness the feminine energy is there a specific way you, you wish to share this this feminine energy this christ consciousness with humanity a specific way you are called to share this energy well i am aware of my mission here i am totally conscious of what why i came here uh, may, may we ask what that is well i part of the work that i do is i've been traveling the planet for many many years always to bring um to open up the collective consciousness Beautiful. Of humanity. Beautiful. So this is uh, one part of the work that I do. Um, 
once we are right. conscious of who we are, once we are connected to our, to our higher self, that's the beginning. The doors are open to really tapping into our potential, into our power, into that love frequency that we carry, of which we were all created. We are all creators. And when one's, one is aligned with, this, with the knowing in our hearts that we are creators, that we are meant to spread the word, spread the love, come out of our mental, our lower mental, connect to our higher mental, we can then really commit ourselves to participate in the great is, plan. May we ask, is there something that you wish to commit to? Is there a, is there a project or is there something you have thought about doing for a while that you have not yet committed to that you would like to be doing? Um, yes, but if I may, um, I would like to perhaps discuss, discuss this privately at this particular okay. moment. Okay, you, you, you may speak to the channel after this call if you wish a private communication with the channel. Thank you. May you help with any other questions? Yes, uh, I would like to know if the one that we know as Thor from Lyra would accept to speak t with me today. One moment. Hello. Hello, dear one. Thor? Hello. Hello. Thor? Hello. Hello? Hello. Hmm. Can you hear us? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Is this Thor? Yes. Thank you. My love for you is immeasurable. Hello. This moment uh, for me, I have been waiting for a long time to speak with you. We are one. We are one, yes. Is there a, we have spoken many times prior to this call, um, and I'm very grateful for you to come at this particular moment. Would you have any specifics to give me, or a message to give me at this particular time pertaining to the work that we are doing together. We are one. Remember. Remember we are one. Remember I am you. What you desire, I desire. And what I desire, you desire. We are so intricately wound. We are so intricately intertwined. We are so closely aligned from our soul. We are so closely aligned from our being. Our purpose is so similar. We know what each other is thinking. We know what each other is doing. Know this in your heart. Know that you can tap into my consciousness whenever you wish. Know that you can tap into my beingness whenever you wish. Knowing that you can feel me in my reality as I can feel you in your reality. And feeling into my reality will allow you to change your frequency, to change your frequency to a more dreamlike frequency, as our reality is much dreamlike, as our reality is much multidimensional, as our reality 
is much more like a beautiful fractal multi-dimensional dream in hyperspace dream in consciousness know that you can tap into our reality whenever you wish know that you can tap into our hyperspace consciousness whenever you wish and this will allow you to tune in to a more dreamlike hyperdimensional reality more representative of our reality and it will allow you to ground this dreamlike reality in your reality or part of who you are is to bring this dreamlike reality into your beingness to bring this dreamlike reality if you wish if you wish to continue with this mission is to bring our dream our collective dream the dream of the one into earth into human consciousness the collective dream realize the dream realize you are the dreamer realize you are the dreams and awaken within the dream to a new level of dream to a new more dreamlike consciousness more dreamlike reality this will allow many beings in your reality to achieve greater states of relaxation greater states of oneness greater states of knowingness of beingness who they are the dreamlike reality will enter your time space the dreamlike reality will enter your consciousness you can ground this energy in your planet and allow many more beings to enter this reality knowing it is all a dream all a dream where you can let go of your worries let go of your fears let go of your doubts let go of your inhibitions let go of all let go let let go let go and ride down the river of the dream it tells down the river of the dream like so many butterflies drifting in the breeze hmm. Thank you. I love you. We love you. We love the dream. We love to dream together. The co-creation, the one dream. The dream we dreamed into reality. It is all love. It is all you. It is all me. The dream of love. The dream of creation. The conscious co-creation we dreamed into reality. It is all here. It is all now. It is all a dream. It's all you. It's all a dream. It's all a dream. It's all a dream. Good day. Shivai for now. No, we can connect with you anytime you wish. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love the dream. We love to dream with you. Look to your dreams at night in your dream state and dreaming in the awake state. We love you. Good day for now. We can connect with you whenever you wish. We are always here, always now, always available. No, we are never separate. You have never lost us always here always here more and more every day as you wish we will connect with you more okay we love you too we love you too we love you we're doing it we love you all all you earth humans all you huckalo all you youtube all you planet earth we love you all good day good day It is over, Max? Uh, the main part is over, yes. Can I ask for Jay? No, it's over. Oh, the channeling is over, yeah. Eh, horrible. <laughs> we could talk. Hello, for hello, we are the yeah, yo Hello, oh. hello, we just wish to say goodbye. Goodbye, Shivai. Goodbye. We wish to get our two cents worth in. We do not wish to leave you hanging. We do not wish to leave you without getting our bit in. So have a wonderful day, Earth humans. We have loved this transmission. We have loved communicating with you in this way. We love you, Earth humans, so much. Welcome to our consciousness. Welcome to our frequency. Welcome to our pitch. Welcome to our dimension. Have a wonderful day. Shibai, Earth humans. Shibai, Earth humans. Shibai. Hello. Good day. Shibai. Hello. Shibai. <laughs> Hey, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's also. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Hi. Hi, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hi. Jonathan. Thank you. Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan, you, yeah. Jonathan, you are a great channel. We love you. Thank you. Jonathan, this is Marlene. And uh, when speaking with um, the guy, yeah, Nahel, he mentioned that perhaps uh, after this call we could connect. Is that possible for you? Yeah, sure. Um, my, my website was shown at the start of the call, so you can watch the re-recording and find out that. It's, um, it's jonathancmartin.com. Show you in a second, yep. Showing up. Jonathan C. Ma 
Jonathan yeah. C. Martin. Yeah, J O N A T H A N C M A R T I N dot com. Dot com, yes. And um, yeah, and you can also um, you can find me on YouTube with that Jonathan C Martin. That's my name on YouTube, and that's my Facebook name. And you can add me on Facebook with that. And if you look on the Hockelo uh, page at the comment uh, the, where they announced this talk, I commented on that a few times. So you can mm -hmm. find me through that as well. Okay, thank you. Or, or if not, you can uh, you can ask Max. Uh, Max has got my contact details, and he can pass yeah. it on. And you, you ac uh, Jonathan accepts private sessions uh, through Skype, and uh, you can email him. Mm -hmm. From his website, and the price is uh, about seventy-five dollars per per hour. Yes, thank yeah, you. Very 50, Fifty-five, fifty-five uh, British pounds. Oh. So probably, probably is about seventy-five dollars. Like thank 70. you, Jonathan. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I invite you also to visit our uh, uh, workshop in person. Uh, we will uh, we will cover everything except the travel. So. Uh, so if, if you happen to be in the US, that would be a great place. We have five days um, in, uh, in a campground and um, uh, we will provide the food and shelter. And the oh, thank you. To speak. Yeah, I have to find the money to get a plane out to... Um... May, uh, yeah, of course, like for, only for one workshop, maybe it's not worth it. But if you find other places where you can, you can speak, that may, might, might uh, altogether be, be a, a good uh, a travel plan. Yeah, it's been be nice. Be nice. Yeah, I, I've always I've wanted to go to the states for a while. Like, I can visit Sedona, maybe. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, start thinking in that direction, we'll, uh, and uh, you know, put us on calendar. Maybe there will be some uh, guidance to do that. Yeah. Okay. That's I'll bear it in mind. Yeah. I'll hold it in my consciousness. Thank you very much. All right. I will uh, wrap up with that and. Um, uh, so coming our uh, our Tuesday and Thursday, my channel is of Yagananda, Tuesday, uh, 12.30 in the afternoon, and uh, Thursday at um, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, um, 11 p.m. Eastern Time in the evening. And uh, on Friday, we have, uh, we have a, most likely it will be channeling class taught by Takur through Jim. And I will, uh, uh, you're, welcome, uh, you're welcome to join. Uh, go to hukola.org to, to join there. And it is uh, requires a subscription, which is $10 per month. So uh, on hukola.org, you can subscribe. I think that's all I have for today. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. It's been brilliant. Thank you. All right. Stopping the broadcast. Bye, everybody.